said she was working on our project at home today. I know, but I wanted to use the hideout to record a segment for my podcast. What are you doing here? Wait, is that milk? Are you hiding a stray cat down here? No, it's just... You shouldn't give cats milk. It's bad for their digestive systems. Can really upset their tummies. When? There's no cat. I was just trying to practice a presentation for my chemistry class. Neat. Can I see it? What? No. Why? Are you trying to cover because there really is a cat down here? No. It's just... What then? I get nervous when I have to perform in front of people, okay? No way. I never would have thought. You always seem so... cool. Well, I'm not. I freeze up and I hate it. It's why I bailed on the rugby team's home opener. I was too nervous to perform in front of everyone. I hate it so much. Gwen? You have to promise not to tell anyone. I won't. I know what that feels like. I used to get so nervous before tests that I wouldn't answer any of the questions. I would just leave the paper blank. Wow, I didn't know that. I still get nervous, but now I take some deep breaths and feel my feet on the floor. If I can do that, then I can usually calm down and the test doesn't seem so hard. Do you want to try it? Uh, if you want, I can play you some soothing narwhal sounds. I find whale song extremely calming. No. No. Oh, gosh. Okay. Ugh. Okay. But promise never to play that sound again. Mm-hmm. Dip this into the milk. It's just you and me. Looks pretty stable. Nothing really moving or spreading around. There's a reason why they aren't mixing. Fat is oil-based. The food coloring is water-based. And oil and water don't mix. Exactly! But if we use our knowledge of chemistry, we can shake things up. Dip some of this into this dish soap. Then dab it into the milk. Whoa, that's amazing! The soap attaches itself to the fat, and soap can move through water. So, as it spreads, it helps all the liquids mix. And now, the food coloring can spread out. That wasn't so hard, was it? You just presented the entire experiment without your nerves getting in the way even once. This is different than performing in front of a crowd. Maybe you just need some more practice. You can be a guest on my podcast! Oh, no. Please, I haven't had a guest since I interviewed my dog two months ago. How many people listen to it? My mom says she does, but I'm almost positive she's lying. So come on, I'll be talking about gibbons. What's a gibbon? Be on my podcast and I'll tell you all about them. Okay. Outstanding! And Gwen? Thanks. My pleasure. Welcome to another installment of Gwen's Jungle Jamboree, where I talk about the world's most amazing and vital animals. To help me out, I have a very special guest, the brilliant Cat Novak. Thanks for having me on, Gwen. On today's episode, I'll be talking about a very special and endangered type of ape called gibbons. Now, Cat, did you know gibbons spend almost all their time in treetops of the rainforest? That's cool. What else can they do? They can also jump distances up to 50 feet. That's longer than a school bus. You don't say. 